of Oregon's Mount Hood National Forest, there's a logging road four miles long, all downhill. It's a skateboarder's dream and an insurance writer's nightmare. Bob Marks and Brent Engelstein have been racing high-speed skateboards at breakneck speeds for over a year now. As far as we know, they're the only people doing this. It's a highly dangerous sport. They reach speeds close to 60 miles per hour. Why do they do it? It's, uh, I guess, a rush. I don't know what other word to use. I gave up yeah. skiing, skiing uh, everything. You know, I'd rather do this than anything. Oh, I've never felt a feeling like this except when I'm doing this. Yeah, I guess you could call it a rush. Like I said, there's nothing else like it. Those blocks of wood are brakes, which they drag to slow down. They steer by leaning left or right. And at over 50, the air resistance is so high, they can turn just by raising an arm. The critical point is that taking a curve, and if you go over the edge at 50 or 60, you're gonna, you're gonna get hurt. Jim Marks missed a turn, yet amazingly, he only pulled some tendons in his leg. About 40 miles an hour, I came there, started there, and I slid on the way here. <laughs> um, I tried to take the corner too quick. But that's a break through the game. <laughs> Brent Engelstein plans to build one more skateboard and go for the world speed record. I'd like to hit the big three number to 100 miles an hour sometime. job and a family and uh, there's no sense in pushing my luck. I've, I think I've got as much out of it as I, I want to get out of it. I've been lucky long enough. <laughs>